So the first step in uh, creating our uh, script that will stream real-time crypto data is we will need to install our dependencies and import them into our script. So first we will need to, we'll be using the WebSocket library in uh, Python and simple JSON as well as pprint to uh, see our uh, data. And we will also need to install the Alpaca Trade API script so we can interact with our uh, our exchange. So we'll just do a simple uh, pip install, install WebSocket, uh, pip install simple JSON, uh, pip install pprint, and then we would do uh, pip install Alpaca trade api so we would need all of those li uh, uh, libraries installed in order to inter to interact with our alpaca websocket and then we will need to import these libraries uh, since we will only be using the uh, create connection for this example uh, this is of the uh, websocket library this is the only uh, part of of the WebSocket that we'll be importing. Uh, same with the uh, JSON for uh, interpreting interpreting our uh, data. Uh, we'll also be using this to print out the uh, data to the console. And then we have our custom uh, file secret.py, which will be used to um, import our uh, keys for authentication. So. Here we have our uh, URL. Uh, this is actually taken from the Alpaca uh, documentation, uh, right uh, over here. So for uh, streaming real-time crypto data, we would be using this uh, URL. Um, I did modify it a little bit. I added a the exchanges uh, to uh, specify what ex exchange we would be using. Um, so. I specified that we would use the the uh, Coinbase exchange to stream our, our uh, data. After that, we will be creating a connection with the with the uh, WebSocket library that we imported. After that, we would be set, uh, we would be receiving our uh, message once we had made that basic connection. Uh, we'll be using the uh, JSON. A library to format that format that message into a stream because I believe it is in a, a JSON format. So we will do Python uh, stream data, and if you got this message, it means that we had a successful uh, connection. So now that that works, we will need to authenticate. So here we have our authentication message. Uh, here we have our uh, our uh, key from secret.py, and then we have our secret key, also from secret.py. Uh, this will be used. Uh, these are just our basic API keys uh, from the Alpaca Exchange. Uh, this is stored in a Python dictionary uh, in this variable, um, and then it will be uh, sent to that server using the JSON uh, dumps method. Uh, what this will do is it will actually format that dictionary into a string format so uh, the exchange can actually read that. Uh, once that is done, we will also need to subscribe to receive our uh, crypto data. So what we will need to do is we will create a similar message just as we did before. But instead of the auth message, we would use subscribe. And then we would select the, the, the uh, type of data that we'd want to see. In this case, we are looking at trades. And then we'd be looking at the trading pair, uh, Bitcoin to USD. And then just like before, we would be sending that same message to the server. And then after that, we will be uh, looking at our authentication um, message. So with that being said, let's run the script. So as you can see, we have our connection and then we have our authentication. 
So now we will need to actually uh, take a look at our data. So what we have here is an infinite loop. Uh, what this will do is it will uh, c continuously uh, print out um, the uh, data that we receive from our server in a uh, in a uh, JSON format. So uh, I will I will run the script now, and then you can see how it works. So so as you can see. Um, Yes. So we have our connection message and our authentication message as well. And now you also see a new uh, subscription message. Uh, this just shows what we'll, what would we be, be expecting uh, from our data. So we have our trades of Bitcoin USD, and then we have our our output, uh, which is the the actual trading data. So as you can see right here, this is our uh, trading data. We have the uh, name of the pair, uh, Bitcoin USD. We have the uh, type of data, it's T, which stands for a trade. Uh, we have here is the trading index. Uh, it's not really that important, but it's a uh, good way to um, kind of differentiate between different uh, trades uh, and then over here we have the price that the asset was bought or sold at and then here we have the uh, size that was bought or sold uh, and then right below that we have our time uh, I believe this is the universal standard time uh, used on the coinbase uh, exchange after that we have our sell uh, using TKS, so this 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 means that whoever executed this trade uh, sold sold Bitcoin, uh, and then this is the exchange that the trade was executed on. So just 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 looking at this uh, data, it looks like somebody uh, sold about this much Bitcoin at this price at uh, this time. So. That being said, that was just one trade. Uh, if the script was run, it would print out uh, multiple different trades uh, very rapidly. So I'm gonna let the script run for a little bit, and then you can see that you know it's printing out more and more trades uh, every second. So this is what uh, real uh, real time data would actually uh, look like. Uh, that being said, um, I don't believe that any human being can actually uh, read this data and use it for trades um, uh, efficiently. Uh, the way I would use this uh, data is I would have it be be, be fed into a uh, so, so, some type of algorithm that acts very very quickly uh, and is uh, very efficient. Uh, this would also be known as a high frequency trading algorithm. Uh, this is something that is used a lot for uh, for large hedge funds and in, in uh, banks. Um, actually, I think it's uh, more than well. A good majority of uh, trades are actually done uh, using these high frequency trading algorithms. So um, it's 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 very exciting that you know. Um, that we can take this first step in developing our own. Uh, that being said, thank you for watching the video and I hope to see you uh, next time.